In this video, we'll be looking into the important questions of computer organization and architecture subject. So this is the uh, latest question paper of previous year, that is 2023 of 21 scheme. So in the first module, they have asked us to explain the basic operational concept of computer. And then here we have uh, evaluating the arithmetic statement uh, using three address, two address, one address and zero address. Followed by that we have basic performance equation and indicating the role of each parameter. Yes, it's very easy. Then in the OR part we have addressing mode, which is a very important question, followed by uh, big Indian, little Indian difference with an example, and then performance measurement, which is again a theoretical concept. So considering the previous year question paper and following the trend of past three years, I have prepared or noted down the important uh, topics which needs to be studied for the exam in order to score good marks. So the first one is to uh, write down the steps to execute an instruction. Then we have, this is an important one to, uh, this is an important one to uh, remember because this can be asked for 10 marks. Performance measurement and performance equation uh, together can be asked for 10 marks. Then we have byte addressability that is big Indian, little Indian as we have seen here. Then we have memory operations which is very simple load and store. Basic instruction types, yes there was a question here in the previous year paper about basic instructions. Followed by that we have uh, instruction execution and straight line sequencing. Then conditional codes, addressing modes is pretty important. Then we have shift and rotate instructions. So one, two, three, four, these four are the must questions to study in first module. Followed by that, let's looking into the second module questions. We have uh, uh, like we need to explain interrupt nesting and daisy chain method, and uh, we need to explain what is bus arbitration. Explain centralized bus arbitration and distributed one. And on the other part, we have uh, illustrate a program that reads one line from keyboard, stores it in memory buffer, and echoes if uh, back to display in I.O. interfaces. And then the other part we have uh, explaining the general 8-bit parallel interface. So in looking at the important topics, first one we have is note on accessing I.O. devices. Then the most important topic in second module is interrupts. So questions related to interrupts that are uh, interrupt definition, hardware, enabling and disabling interrupts, vector interrupts, interrupt nesting and daisy chain uh, arrangement which is also a part of interrupts. Followed by that we have exceptions and privilege exceptions. So from this whole thing you can get a 10 mark question. So followed by that we have DMA, this is also important. Then we have bus arbitration that are centralized and distributed which we have seen. Yes. And then we have uh, synchronous and asynchronous bus which may be asked sometimes and then this question is pretty important because it's repeated every year. So this is again 10 marks. So if you cover 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 questions in second module, you can definitely get good marks. Uh, I mean score good marks in that particular module. Moving on to the third module questions here. Explain the internal organization of 16 megabit DRAM. Okay, fine. Then we have uh, uh, illustrate the structure of synchronous DRAM, types of ROM, and then importance of cache memory and describe the types of cache mapping techniques with diagram. Yes, this is pretty important. And then uh, organization of uh, memory chip. Okay. So the question, first question is the same. Organization of bit cells and memory chip. Then we have RAM. So from uh, RAM, static RAM and uh, static RAM and dynamic RAM, and then internal organization of uh, DRAM that is asynchronous and synchronous. So, so from these two, you might expect one question that is of 10 marks. Followed by that, we have ROM and types, which is just theory, and then speed, size, cost. It's not asked usually. And then this question. So this is a definite question asked for 10 marks. At times it is also asked for 12 marks. In this question it is, in the, in the previous year it is asked for 12 marks. Moving on to the fourth module, the question says uh, to explain 4-bit carry lookahead adder and its operation. 
हार्डवेयर अरेंजमेंट ऑफ सीक्वेंशियल मल्टीप्लीकेशन यस एंड देन ड्रॉइंग सिंगल बस आर्किटेक्चर एंड एक्सप्लेनिंग द कंट्रोल सीक्वेंस फॉर एक्सिक्यूशन ओके एंड देन वी हैव टू एक्स वी नीड टू एक्सप्लेन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ हार्ड वायर्ड कंट्रोल यूनिट सो इन द फोर्थ मॉड्यूल the first question the first topic is uh, is about basic addition of two signed numbers so at times uh, you know there might be numbers given and you need to perform the basic addition so overflow underflow conditions all will be there accordingly you need to perform the addition and at times they can ask you about subtraction also even if it's subtraction you should perform the addition only i hope uh, you know how to solve uh, such questions then we have n bit uh, ripple carry adder and carry look ahead adder so from these three you get one question of 10 marks followed by that we have sequential circuit binary multiplier yes this is we have seen in the previous year paper yes addition and subtraction logical unit yes register transfer single bus single and multiple bus organization pretty important and then branching instructions control sequence control sequence is a complex a uh, part i would say there are no proper lectures in youtube or uh, any material you need to refer the textbooks for that so i would say you can skip this part and then study the hardwired control versus micro program control so 1 2 3 out of uh, if you cover these three topics thoroughly you can get you can score well in the fourth module coming to fifth module uh it's a uh, they has they have asked us to explain the concept of pipeline processing uh, explain pipeline for floating point addition and subtraction uh then four segment instruction pipeline and then simd array processor so fifth module has been latestly uh, has been recently introduced to our uh, vto syllabus so only only there are limited set of topics in the fifth module i would suggest to to go through all the five important topics here and out of this only you will get the question so fifth module is pretty easy and each and every topic is interlinked with each other like parallel processing and pipelining are interlinked and from pipelining you'll further derive the instruction pipelining so yeah and vector processing is also like matrix multiplication and then you have array in array you have attached array and simd array so processors so yeah uh, one thing to remember is that co is a theoretical uh, subject in which it requires a lot of patience and um, memory or capacity to understand things i would instead of studying everything from the textbook or the notes i would suggest you to focus on the important questions or the important topics which i have told and uh, you know study thoroughly that uh, i'm sure you'll definitely get 70 plus so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you